Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be finishing up the Lost Patrol. So without further ado, let's get started. We already looted these guys, so we can go straight into the station. Also, we have a railroad sign there. Let's crouch, and I'll see everybody inside. We're going to be fighting some synths in here. And then at the end, we'll have a few raiders, but really not that much. It's mostly synths. Hello. I thought there was one over here, but I guess not. Definitely one right there. Sensor reading detected. Sustaining damage. Just line it up for me, huh? Enemy may be utilizing stealth. How interesting. Oh, that guy was stupid. <laughs> Crouch behind the wall, facing the opposite way of me. Yeah. The Institute has some amazing AI. Movement detected. Oh my god, I just missed like five shots. No, you are still there. Let's go inside the elevator. Going down. Leave McCready behind. Please come out. We should be getting rid of McCready here oh, soon. Now I understand. Also, just a heads up for everybody. I'm going to be turning in a bunch of side quests that we've completed on the next video but it's just going to be showing the location of where I'm at and then I'm going to turn in the side quest I'm most likely not going to commentate over it it'll be something quick um, and to the point because it's just um, a bunch of quests we need to turn in and side quests I mean we don't need to but It'll be nice for the experience. One more. I just wanted to let everybody know that ahead of time. You up, Bingo. Up, you're dead. Well, you're stupid, bud. I was standing right there looting. Grab yes. the tumblers today. I used to collect comics like that when I was a kid. Lock picking just got even easier. We can stand up. We we don't have any more enemies, and if we do, it'd be like one. Let's loot the fusion core. All this stuff here. Go in the elevator and we'll get out of I think this is Malden Going up. Malden Center Metro something like that Lobby. 
Now let's hang a right, and we're going to go to, I believe, Malden Middle School. Which is actually a vault. Well, the basement is a vault. The middle school is not a vault. Yeah, Malden. I don't know. Is it Malden? Malden? Something like that. I call it Malden. Let's go through the door. I'll see everybody on the other side. There's going to be a ton of gunners in here. And um, if you're into what? reading all the lore and stuff, this is one of vault more messed up tests that they've done. I mean, vault has done a lot of messed up shit, but this one is a little more messed up. Take the elevator down. Going down. This is a side quest, by the Lower way. Level. But it's not a hard side quest. We're literally just exploring the vault. And by exploring the vault, we're going to complete the side huh? quest. Pretty easy. Ah. Thought there was another guy over here. Ah. Oops, lady. My bad. Floating purified water. Through every playthrough I've had, that has always been floating. I don't know if it's just in my game or if it's in everybody's game. But I have always had it floating. What? Got him. Listen, lady. It's you or me. Nothing personal. Oh, you know what? Almost forgot. Let's take out... There's two gunners over here. We'll come back. We're, we're just going to take out two gunners so they're not a nuisance later he was a legendary now we can head back over here We can't open that door yet. We will shortly. Let's grab this stem pack. I have a ton of stem packs. Um, hopefully everybody else does too. I mean, by this point in the game, you should have an overabundance of stem packs just because of uh, looting and buying them and all that other good stuff. Oh wow, that's actually a pretty sweet piece of leather armor. Over here in this terminal, if you want to play a gun range game, it's pretty much shooting all the targets as fast as you can and beating the score of the gunners. So if that's something you want to do, feel free, have fun.
Just doing a little backtracking. We can stand up. Need to find the card. Can't go in there yet. But we can open this side. This is where we're going to exit out to. We've already been over there. I just like to open it up ahead of time. Pick up the Bingo. science bobblehead. That'll give us one extra guess when we're hacking terminals. Not really that big of a deal. We don't hack too many terminals, but I guess having an extra uh, guess is good. We can stand back up. We don't have to crouch anymore. At least for now. Now we can go through here. Crouch again. Ah. Took care of those guys really quick. Let's lock pick this door real fast. Sweet. We're going to pick up the keys. Loot this stuff. Pick up our Grognak, yeah. the Barbarian. And way back when we were uh, going through... Um, shit, I can't remember. Um, I was like, oh, we only got one more Grognak, the Barbarian magazine left. We had... Quite a few left. I, I don't know why I thought that we almost had all the Grognak uh, magazines, but whatever. We're going to go into this terminal. All you have to do is go into it, exit it, and it'll complete the Vault 75 quest. Uh, if, you if you want to read uh, lore on it, feel free. I'm just going to go in and then exit. There we go. I don't know why I picked up the pre-war money. You can exit out that way if you like. Not going to. It would send us over to where the gunner that was the legendary. But to be honest, not really that important. Did we loot this already? Yeah, we looted it. Did we loot those? No, we did not. No, we did not. Or that. I am just going to grab all this stuff real quick, and then we will continue on our way. Going up. At first, I wasn't sure if I uh, clicked the button to the elevator. So, before we didn't have this Tesla trap, now we do. I'm going to assume it's because some of the gunners got out when we were... Did I not? I guess I didn't 
disarm that. I meant to disarm that, not open the door, but okay. Doesn't matter. Like I was saying, I think the gu some of the gunners actually escaped when we were fighting them in Vault 75. And had set a bunch of traps for us. We're going to stay crouched. Uh, this section can be kind of dangerous. Usually there's an encounter uh, that kind of spawns behind us. Medtech research. But I hope Sinclair's information pays off. Let's head inside and grab that cure. That ghoul literally walked right by me. That's amazing. There's only one more ghoul left. Let's take him out real quick. Stalker. Not a big deal. We can stand up now. I guess we didn't uh, have a encounter spawn behind us. Usually there is some kind of encounter from uh, rust devils to um, the mechanist robots to raiders to gunners. You name this it. Isn't pre-war damage? Something was detonated here within the last few years or so. Let's listen to the battlefield hollow tape. Well, they're not going to need that stuff anymore. On the road, we're outnumbered five to one. Bottom report. We're down to five percent. We'll have to scuttle the armor. We can't let them have it. Fire him! Damn it! Aspen set the self destructs. Better slow back. We'll head for the old military base, then try to make it to our holdout. The code will be our call sign. All right, move, move, move! Let's go inside the medtech research. All right, let's find that executive terminal. Sinclair said that's the only way we can override the facility's lockdown. Loot the first aid kit. What I like to do is come over here to where the ramp is the makeshift ramp because it's a broken down uh, walkway and just take them out one by one there or they can fall behind me that's always nice try to be all cool and shit and work out such is life huh Oh, nice. We've gotten quite a few legendaries this episode. Oops.
How do I miss at point blank range? Check the terminal on the desk over there. Sinclair's passcode better work, or we're screwed. Cleaning robot, take the day off or something? All you have to do is go inside here um, and shut down the security. Thank God that worked. Let's find our way down to the sublevel. That's where MedTech should be storing the cure. Do just a little bit of looting here. Oh, come on. Get out of the way, McCready. Next episode, I don't think we'll have him. Because we'll be finishing up his uh, quest line. Let's go into this terminal. Vacuum cleaners for a reason, you know. All we did is open up the airlock door. We're gonna go in this terminal as well. Find him! Find him! That's how we do things around here. All I did is uh open up the doors in there. I love how McCready's just like, what's going on, huh? That's what I call a confirmed kill. Put on some Rad X. There's quite a bit of uh, radiation in this building, or just stuff that can irradiate you. We'll go up this way. This place is filled with ghouls. We're the first ones down here in a long time. The sooner we find that cure, the sooner we can get the heck out of here. We're gonna take out the I think we have company. turrets here. And then we're gonna again open up the doors. <laughs> Doing a lot of that in here. If you want to, you can lock pick this door. There's uh some ammo. And uh, a helmet, actually a security helmet. Kind of like the one from the compound in the last episode. Let's go into this terminal. You can um, activate a Protectron, by the way. I don't find it useful. Protectrons kind of die really quick to ghouls. So I don't even bother. Take some rat away. Jeez, there is a ton of legendaries in here. I think this is like the third legendary. Uh, uh, should that thing on your wrist be clicking that much? Sure. We live in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Dagger counter is probably going off constantly, my dude. McCready says some of the most, well, I think it's all the companions say some of the most 
obvious things. Take out this fool so he doesn't sneak up on us. Same with that. Take him down. Whoa. Okay, that looked like My controller hurt. made me veer up really quick. That was weird. Let's go into the terminal on the wall. We're going to open up this door and we're going to have a few more ghouls and then get the medicine for... Uh, McCready's kid. Take a little more Radix. We gotta go over here, grab a magazine. We can stand up, by the way. There we go. Might as well loot this trunk while we're here. There we go. There has to be something worth a few caps in here. Hey. What's up? Here you go, we McCready. Holy crap, we actually did it! We just gave Duncan a fighting chance to live. I don't know how I'll ever be able to pay you back for this. I owe you big time. This is a friendship, not a business contract. Yeah, you're right. I'm just used to people taking rather than giving. Maybe one day I'll realize that you're different. Anyway, the last step ahead of us is getting the cure to Daisy and Good Neighbor. With her caravan contacts, she's the only one I trust to get this to Duncan on time. This is the last favor I'm going to ask. I promise. Let's go. Now we only have a few more pit stops. I think actually one more pit stop before we make our way to Brandis. I think that's his name, right? Maybe not. I forget the name of the paladin that we're trying to find. Of course. Let's take these guys out right, quickly. I'm all over this. <laughs> Impressed yet? As soon as we come out. We're going to head uh, back by Malden Middle School. I keep wanting to say high school. I don't know why. And then instead of heading that way, we're going to hang a right down here. And the blue house is our visual landmark of where we need to go. We need to go to the right side of this blue house in between the building and the house here. Be very careful, or don't, um, depending on your difficulty. There is a death claw down here. And it will always be down here because it's scripted to. Making sure there's nothing else. Go over here, loot the death claw, and then we're gonna go inside the sinkhole. We gotta get uh, Grandpa Savoldi's Minuteman hat. Let's do that now. Already in danger. Doesn't matter, they're rad roaches. Rad roaches are. Ah! 
not um, yes. a problem. We're going to pick up a Wasteland Survival Guide. This will make us swim 25% faster. Man, so not a bad survival guide um, to pick up. Usually these guys don't come down here. I guess they did today. There's one more up there. Let's pick up uh, Grandpa Savaldi's hat. This guy should be a glowing ghoul. Let's get out of here. So if you want to, you can go upstairs. There's a safe and a cooler. But that is up to you. What is that over there? Gruel. I don't know if I ever met him. Interesting. Let's go see who Gruel is real quick. Oh, damn. Oh. He's hostile. Up another kill for me. Gruel list? Interesting. I have never seen him before. Over there is General Atomics Galleria. It's kind of a side quest and kind of not. Um, it's really not that important, but if you are feeling like you want to go over there and check it out feel free just take the road to the left here go down there and uh go inside the big uh robot there and you'll talk to a robot and have some dialogue and all that good stuff right here is usually a rad scorpion so be careful Not much farther, and we will be to our destination. I think his name is Brandis, by the way. Pretty sure. Just keep going straight. That's pretty much what we have to do is continue going straight. Pretty cool. Some cars in the tree there. Oh, got some raiders. Sweet. This won't take long. Pretty sure we're not alone. Mistake you'll ever make. They must have uh, triggered one of the landmines Brandis set down. I don't know. I don't know where that guy went, but I'm not going to try to climb that. Oh, poor settler. Yeah, Brandis has some landmines again. If your sneak's not that high, be careful. Try not to blow yourself up. Let's open up the door. Actually, we got a level. Awesome. Put that into toughness. And then we will go into this terminal and open up the door.
Paladin Brandis. Freeze. One more step and I'll... I'll blow your damn head off. Who are you? Who sent you? How did you get in here? Easy, Paladin. I'm with the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? No, 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 it can't be. They're, they're, they're too far away. They wouldn't send you, would they? Let's, uh, let's say I believe you. How did you find me? I followed the distress beacons left by your team. Their hollow tapes led me here. The others? What, uh, what happened to them? They're dead. I thought so. I, I, I tried to go back for them, you know, but there was, there was nothing I could do. Not alone. You've been through a lot to find me. I should, I should give you something. I've collected a lot over the years. Technology, odds and ends. If you see anything you want, take it, take it. So, you don't have to tell him that his group is dead. You can give him the um, dog tags. I just chose to tell him that they're dead because McCready likes it. Also, we're going to have him you, rejoin right. the Brotherhood. You can get a reward from him. If you ask for a reward, he will give you a weapon. It's pretty cool. I'm going to have him rejoin the Brotherhood. So with that being said, let's continue on with the dialogue. The Brotherhood needs you, Paladin. It's time you reported in. I, I, I can't. It's, it's been too long. I, I wouldn't be of any use. No one knows the Commonwealth better than you. We need your help. I've been here too long. I'm, I'm, I'm not myself. Would they still take me? The Brotherhood will honor the memory of your team. Shouldn't you be the one to tell their story? Unless I go back, their, their sacrifices, everything we went through, it'll be forgotten. I can't let that happen. I'll do it. For them. All right, I'll, uh, I'll get my things. Head to the airport. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Let's listen to Paladin Brandis' holotape. Brotherhood of Steel Recon Team 429 Alpha. Final report. Our mission has failed. Six hours after insertion, my company was ambushed. We lost five nights and exhausted our power armor reserves. We scuttled the armor to prevent looting then retreated under fire, abandoning our supplies. I was separated from the two remaining members of my team within a week. Both are missing. Status unknown. I'd hoped to rendezvous with them at our holdout bunker and seek a means of escape from the Commonwealth. But no one has come. No one has come. Poor guy. All right, everybody, I want to tell you all, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.